Let's talk about Troy Tulowitzki. Boy, five years ago, this would be a special move. But most people, just reading on Twitter and friends that have called me, believe that this means the Yankees are not going after Machado. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. This is what you call a hedge. And the Yankees, according to some reports, actually called up Manny Machado and said, we are signing Troy Tulowitzki. I don't want you to think that has any impact whatsoever on what we're doing with you or whether or not we want you. They still want him. I still think they're the favor. Bruce Levine, well, Levine, I think is the way he pronounces his name, in Chicago, is locked into everything. And he said that the White Sox have made it clear that they will not go beyond seven years for either Harper or Machado. I would think they're out then. But I don't think the Yankees would go more than seven. So it, that leaves it up to the Phillies and the stupid money comment. I believe that the Yankees are getting Tulowitzki as a hedge in case they don't get Machado. Let's say Machado is seduced by a 10-year offer by the Phillies that they have a fallback. I still don't think he would be the regular shortstop. He's played 66 games right. in two years. He's constantly hurt. He's had heel surgery. And Omar Minaya, um, I think over the last couple of days, was speaking to a group of people and said, anything we get from Cespedes this year will be, we'll, we'll take. Anything. So they're not expecting anything from no, Cespedes. And they. he had surgery on both of his heels. So Tulowitzki tried out for about a dozen teams. The Yankees were there when he tried out. They obviously liked what he saw. He has an affinity for the Yankees. He grew up idolizing Jeter. That's why he wore number two for his whole career. Now... I'm sure a lot of teams want this. This is a, a no brain flyer. The minimum wage, I believe, is going to be $555,000 this year. That's what they owe him. The rest of the money will be paid by the Blue Jays the next two years $20 million a year. If they cut him in spring training, it cost them a six to $555,000. This is a no brainer. It has no connection whatsoever to Machado. None. None. The Yankees are still very much in on Machado. Uh, from what I heard, Machado wants the Yankees, but is he going to be able to leave money on the table? Will the Yankees draw a rational line in the sand where they say, we'll give you seven years at $240 million, and that's it. And then the Phillies come in and say, we'll give you 10 years at 320. Does Machado want to play for the Yankees that badly that he would leave all that money uh, on the that table. Would be hard Robinson to Cano did not. And Robinson Cano, I tell you everybody, wanted to play for the Yankees. Sure. Wanted to stay with the Yankees. They offered him more money, average annual contract. And that's also a laughable thing that I keep hearing. Well, maybe the Yankees are offering a five year deal at forty million a year. So that would be two hundred thousand. Let's say the the Phillies are offer him ten years at three hundred and thirty. So there's thirty three million a year. The Yankees are forty million a year. The more money you make per year, the more money you're going to get zapped on taxes anyway. You're still leaving X amount of millions of dollars. And you can say, well, he has opt-outs and all that. He might get hurt, God forbid. All of these players might get hurt. They could break their back. They could never be the same guy. They're going to go for the if, most guaranteed money, in my opinion, just like right. Robinson Cano. If he wanted to be a Yankee that bad, then why would he be going on this tour and taking so long to make the decision? He would have met with the Yankees, who he, by the way, only met for 90 minutes. Meanwhile, would it, how long was it, Andrew? And he was six, like, spent six weeks in Philadelphia. Like four hours they spent there. And our favorite construction no, no, worker. No, no, no. Three huh? hours in Philly is like six weeks. Well, you, you, Michael, you, you, weren't, you weren't here when we got to talk about the Philly construction worker. What I your, did. What were your thoughts on him? I thought it was great. It gave him, gave him a little taste of what Philly is like. It really is. Philly has a song. lot of New York in it. I, I, I mean, I don't distance myself as a New Yorker from Philly. They're the same kind of East Coast mentality, tough-minded. But has anyone ever, like, has anyone, when you're trying to get someone, you know, to do something positive, yelled at you that way? Like, when you were about to walk down the aisle a, with Jody? Do the right thing! Marry a woman! I mean, no one does I that. I think my uncle did that. Is yeah. that what he's Danny Aiello? <laughs> yes. Wow. No, no. Um, I, I, I think he, he didn't just say it in a nasty way, right? No, no. Listen to the tone. Take it's the not, money. He, he, he didn't him. mean it in he a nasty way, but it. he said this. Do the right thing and sign. Get the money. I love it. Do the right thing and sign. Love it. That was Andrew's cousin, Ben, by the way. Is that? That was Ben yeah. Gunling? Yeah, that was Ben Gunling. Wow. I didn't that was, know that. I don't that. think a lot of work got done that day. So whatever his job was in I that building, they need to recheck his work. God hates me. Because wow. there's going to be like a window that falls out one day. Now, uh, Don and I both saw a tweet today from a listener, who's a comedian, by the way, who said... Who was Gaff? Who was it? I uh, forget. No, it wasn't. It wasn't it Gaffney. Was, it wasn't Gaffney. No. Gaffney's our resident comedian. Yes. Oh, well. But he said 
You know, you guys ripped Met fans oh, this, and yeah. Yankee fans when we suggested to Lewitsky and Cano. First of all, the, the, the suggestion about Cano was trading him straight up. The, I would not be in for Cano if it didn't involve Edwin Diaz. Right. That was the one guy that we ripped. Right. And I would... And uh, the, somebody called up about Tula Whiskey and said maybe the Yankees should trade for him w with the Blue Jays. While the Blue Jays still, uh, why would you trade and take the twenty million dollars when the Blue Jays are cutting him loose, giving him forty million dollars to walk away? And another thing I would say to that kind gentleman who listens to the show and we love him for that, making us the most listened to and watched radio show most in consumed. the afternoon, English speaking. Um, so somebody's supposed to like suggest something asinine. And as a talk show, like, well, you know, there's, uh, that's, a, that's a good point. If we don't agree with it, we don't agree. And, and if we end up being wrong, we don't uh, rip it. I, 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 don't, say we're I, don't, wrong. I don't think it's a great thing the Yankees didn't bring in into Lewitsky. I mean, I, if anything, maybe it's a message to Machado, like, hey, listen, we have other options, buddy, so take the seven. We're not desperate. But that doesn't mean that uh, it, 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 if he's going to be their starting shortstop, that that's like a bright idea. But they did, but you, you painted it pretty well. Nothing to lose there no. as far as what they're giving up. I don't know what he's got left. He's coming off, as you said, major surgery. He's banged up. This is not the Tula Whiskey from Colorado. No. Uh, again, five years ago, you'd be going. Uh, there you'd was going a story nuts. today in the Post. I had never heard this story. I believe it was in the Post. I read so much. You do. But Jeter, for his last contract, said to, that was arguing with Cashman, and said, who else would you rather have playing shortstop for you next year than me? And Cashman goes, you really want me to go there? He goes, I want to know who. And Cashman said, Troy Tulowitzki. That's why Jeter still can't stand the side of Brian. But, so you know that Brian is long like Tulowitzki, but sure. not this Tulowitzki. No, not, not this Not the same age, player. Not this injury. I think that what the Yankees are doing with Tulowitzki, he is their $555,000 version of Neil Walker. Neil Walker made $4 million last year. So if you're going to spend all this money and still try to stay within a reasonable salary situation, saving $3.5 million is a big deal. So they think Tula Whiskey could play first. He could play some third, probably play second. We know he could play short. He's going to be there, Neil Walker. Yeah. At, what would that be? One-eighth of the price. So then you painted a picture where it makes sense.